Okay, Ron, I think you passed it back to me, um, to great difficulty there with uh, some uh, uh, continental uh, interference, I think. Um, but I, I gather you're on low power and uh, um, uh, for whatever reason, and uh, uh, perhaps the match is rather is not very good, perhaps, and uh, you don't want to uh, increase power too much. But uh, um, maybe uh, QS wine to 80 meters will uh, help matters. But uh, anyway, thanks very much for coming in, and uh, um, uh, good to uh, good to hear you on. Um, but uh, whether we'll get any any others or not, I'm not sure. Um, uh, but let's uh, take a listen uh, first of all. Uh, this is G zero A O with the Harwell Amateur Radio Society's Friday Night Net. Uh, any other uh, members of the uh, Harwell Amateur Radio Society on frequency, please? Nothing's out at the moment. Uh, okay, round to you, Anne. Uh, G8CUL, G0AOZ and the group, over. Well, G8CUL and the group, yeah. Um, didn't get hardly anything from on that time at all, and there is a lot of foreign interference at the moment. So uh, that's not making it uh, very different. But your signal is holding up uh, nicely. So let's hear about Dave's problem with water. Uh, Mike has been out today trying to sort out 23 and that was water as well. There's a, there's a lot of it about, they say. Um, and uh, the fact that our uh, antenna on Mars sent uh, quite a bit of its life uh, uh, horizontal does not help at all. Mike is here, he's talking at the moment, but um, this day we do seem to have uh, a pending cut, which I think is going round the rotator, rotator loop. Good grief, yeah, it's got a um, connector here and it's completely corroded, so uh, obviously water being a problem. I do, um, I do wonder that uh, we, won't, we may have that problem when we get back out to and we've only got a couple of days to fix it before the uh, two Um, certainly they're talking about five inches of rain, which